All right, today we'll be doing a valve adjustment on a Honda 4 Trax 300. This is gonna be the same motor um, from late 80s all the way up into the 2000s. So this motor here, to do this adjustment or this check, you do not have to remove the motor. So just kind of side note there, we have this motor pulled out for other reasons, and I just thought I would show you how to do a valve adjustment. You're gonna pull, um, you're gonna take a 10 millimeter hex and pull this cap off here. It's right uh, kind of underneath your starter. Um, on your stator cover here, and then also this flathead cap as well. Sits right above that other cap. You're gonna have to remove those. Next thing you're gonna do is 17 millimeter with a, with a ratchet on there. You're gonna turn this. Now this, this turns your crankshaft, which turns your piston up and down, which turns your camshaft, and that allows us to um, check the valve. So we've got our, our intake side here and our exhaust side here. There are 10 millimeter bolts. We're gonna have to pull both of those. You want to set a feeler gauges and then we're going to take and turn this motor and I'll show you what these windows look like here when we get finished with this video all the way to the end um, to find top dead center we're going to spin this over now you're going to have lines on here there's two lines and you're going to line it up uh, with the lines um, or with the mark that's on this top cap here and again I'll show you that when we get uh, towards the end of this video but you want to put these lines in line with that center piece on this top window here and at that point you should have clearance on your valves unless your valves are extremely tight. So you find your feeler gauge and the specs on these is actually just going to be 0 .006 and that's inches. So it's going to be which would be equivalent to 0.152 millimeters. So that's where you want to set your valves at, your clearance is at on this. Take a 10, on, take a 10 millimeter for intake. Uh, loosen your lock nut here and then we've got a flathead screw here. Before we do that we can check them and see if they're out of clearance. 